Hey guys, so um, you know I talked about going on look or cutting my hair and just changing my look. Well, I got to the salon and I was told not to cut my hair because I have a very beautiful hair. Can you beat that? Each time I want to go, say, you know what, I'm done. I want to cut this hair, I want to change my look. I get discouraged. I get told the reason, given reasons why I shouldn't. So I decided to give this hair a second chance and I hope to do better in ensuring that I find time to visit the salon. Hence, I can't do it myself. I'm hoping that I look better than I used to look prior to this treatment. I just hope she gives me what I want. I just get tired of of you know it looking rough me looking on camps oh my god my face is really oily anyway stick around for the makeover all right so guys hmm, work started i got my hair washed and then the hairdresser started her job man guys I'm glad I didn't cut my hair again. All I just needed was pampering. I think the hair just needed a professional touch. And I was just there for fully myself. I think I should be making salon visit part of my itinerary. Here, they were all like, what, girl? Your hair is long. It's beautiful. Why the hell in the world would you think of cutting your hair? I laughed because I was just laughing. Yo, my hair is is actually long. I'm impressed. It's healthy. Like I didn't hear what it was as if I was the only one in the salon with good hair. Everybody was just talking about the hair. The hair not even long, which some people would. Anyway, I'm still grateful to God. The hair just did a professional touch, and I was just fulfilling myself. So well, I ended up doing a silk press. Thanks to the ladies, these be women, I don't know whether it's part of maybe because they want me to come around, but I guess they saved my ass because this hair would have gone down today. Like, but who knows? God used them to keep me to have sense because I almost got this hair off. Here she began trimming. You know, you have to trim your ends now. Mm -hmm. So they work. I think I thought of coloring, but the color did not want to color. Maybe you got the dog to color my hair. Actually, she did actually color my hair, but she said my hair was too dark. Too dark that the color did not even show. That if I'm really serious, that maybe when I come frequently, we'll talk I, I don't, We'll talk about color. I say, hey, madam, I don't want to dye my hair. I don't even need any fake, any color. I want my black hair. Please. I remember back then, as an undergraduate, I went to go and form Jagaban. I tinted my hair and I regretted. So I don't even want to go back to the past. I know coloring is beautiful, but if it was a low cut, I would have said, okay, I can afford to because I could actually just, you know, cut off my hair, chop, bab my hair anytime I want. But this is a hair, like my real hair, my, 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 my natural hair. I can't afford to dye anything permanently i don't want it to destroy then i'll end up my hair maybe my hair will start coloring or it will start breaking or i'll now have to like oh i'm tired of this i don't want this color again it's permanent i'll now have to chop it all over and start all over if i the whole process is not just something i can't deal with so yeah madame started my she was still like she couldn't just get over it like she was washing my hair she was telling me how beautiful the hair is she will do this one she'll say my god girl your hair is fire i'm like what in did this hair big this is not normal hair now. as in i'm not joking even the um, customers there that i didn't know i don't know if that's just part of them you know trying to like make me feel good but well i agree my hair is long but come on now you know, uh -uh. The hair, there are still people that have good hair, better hair you get. This is just, you know, normal hair, you know. So she was like, damn, girl, your hair is fire. Not just her, every other person. Like, ah, auntie, I had to change my mind, though. I said, some people are seeing what I'm not seeing. Okay, let me be learn to be more grateful and content. Yeah. And I just knew, if I, you know what, the solution to this, my hair, issues frequent the salon 
let a professional deal with your hair. You, I mean, I was thinking I could just save some cash. Why do I need to go to the salon? I don't want to, you know. But then, <laughs> it is necessary, especially for my kind of hair. It is very necessary. If it's low cut and uh, hair, I can deal with myself. But this are my hair. This natural hair life is not for the weak. And you need a professional touch to this. All the weeks of struggle that I had, you know, having to always comb my hair will be falling on the floor. It's just irritating and disgusting and stuff. So, I'm just so happy. I'm so glad that I ended up not cutting my hair again and, um, you know, doing something else and just making my hair easy to manage. So, instead of retouching my hair, I did silk press. Silk press is actually a way of melting your hair, especially those freezes that makes your hair tangle anyhow. So, this is it. So much of this is not good. So, I do this like once in six or two, five months. So, please, please, please. If you want to get your hair done, if you're a natural hair person, go to the salon. You don't need to relax her. Because I know what I have bobbed my hair. I've cut my hair twice because of relaxer. So going back to relaxer is like Pennywise power foolish. Because what was the aim of starting natural hair journey? It's because of how bad the relaxer made my hair. It left my hair messed up. So anyway, the outcome is getting there. It's getting there. This is my real hair. Please, I didn't retouch my hair. It's silk press. Silk press makes your hair look relaxed. But it's not relaxed. It just, it just, um, let's say, um, on freezes the freeze if you get if you know what i mean you know the whole tangle now my hair will breathe now my hair will not be breaking <laughs> she was trying to tease me because i was recording so this is a very nice hairstylist her name is kim and i'm glad i have found a, a will i say a stylist right i've never had one any salon that works i go but they are very good in this salon and they're african-american so they know and understand my hair type right so it's they know the drill they understand the, they understood the struggle and they were like you know what girl so i have a stylist now anywhere it is i'm always going going to her like um she's my person now she's my go-to woman anytime any day she's good at what she does really good at what she does guys like every woman in there was awesome was superbly wonderful so i had fun i really i was happy they were like girl thank god you didn't cut this hair they are really nice i've never been <laughs> to be honest i've never gone to a salon and the women are so sweet like that to be honest like everybody was on me i'm like ah, what's in the soap you know it was actually good because i mean <laughs> it feels good to be admired admired so guys this is my the look of my new this is my new look that i was talking about don't roast me yet okay see how my hair is flying like my hair don't roast me yet guys because i ended up like i said before that i ended up going right to do my hair get it done cut it do the whole freestyling and the stylists were crying for me they said your hair is so beautiful why do you want to cut it don't do that okay i'm not joking guys oh my god this this is blowing away my hair and i was like i don't know what people are seeing in this hair that i'm not seeing i guess i just need to do a little i should be frequenting the saloon i guess that's what should happen for me and my hair i don't have to do it myself maybe what causes the issue here is i get burnt out i get tired because i do my hair myself and it's frustrating because you have other things to do and it's hair is like the last thing you really want taking your time so i ended up with this because first of all i will just be free from hair problem for a week it depends on how i handle it already the breeze here is already blowing off the hair but everywhere I go, I am commended. My hair is beautiful and healthy, and I'm happy. I'm happy with the result. I don't like this hair flying like this. Abba. The hair is just behaving like we've won. Be <laughs> my hair wig. Anyway, how do you like my hair? I know you love it already. It's beautiful. Just don't forget the. It's just like wig. Can't you see? I love it. Let me go and do and wrap the hair. So that it can last for me 
because I'm not willing to visit the salon anytime soon. I need, let me give myself two, three weeks. But the begging was just too much. Like, I couldn't even resist. You get, I really made up my mind that today is going off for. I guess people love what I carry. You see, you don't know what you have until it is. If I had cut the hair, I would have been regretting. Anyway, guys, just wanted to just update you on WhatsApp. Bye. <laughs>